Okay, we had a have a Comfast WR650 AC here. The firmware was, we tried to flash the firmware and something went wrong and it bricked. So we're going to flash the firmware. <sighs> a more difficult way. With a TTY to USB adapter. Um, on the board here you have the <clears throat> four pins. Uh, VCC, which is 3.3 volts. The next one is ground. And these green and white. On this one are transmit and receive. So you're going to want to get the VCC and ground correct. The transmit and receive can be swapped back and forth. The um, So I'll plug this in here. You'll see it gets powered. It's not plugged in. Um, we used Linux and a program called Com Minicom. You can download it from the repository. Um, the command is Minicom S for setup. Password Minicom S. So we're good to go into here. Um, serial port setup. You're good to type A. For ours, it's T T Y U S B zero. Um, and you're also going to want to change F to hardware flow control off. And we should be good. Um, Exit and we're going to plug it in. And you'll see what happens. What are those three letters? It's TLD. TLD. Okay. <laughs> so when it gets to the auto reboot, you're going to type TLD enter really quick. Just keep typing TLD, TLD, enter, TLD, enter, TLD, enter. TLD, enter, TLD, enter. Looks like I missed it. Can you hold the phone? I don't think it's going to work now. It's I think it will. Okay, there we go. So TLD will get into this mode. Type help. This was a little strange. I had to look up the um, help command list online. For example, you see here you ping, print environment, and you see this one, print Mac. I had to look this up online. Um... doesn't display correctly, so you see here, print Mac, that's the actual command. So you might have to look that up on yours, but anyways. Um, so what we did was this command here, right here. HTTPD. And that is like, here's my other laptop. So, it's hooked up to this laptop, um, you're going to have to find out which IP address it is. I forget how to do that, let's see. So I did this command here, print environmental, and it looks like its IP address is 192.168.1.1. I think the default for the router is 10.1, but uh, this firmware has it as 1.1, so you're going to want that. And you're going to connect it to a computer like that, and you're going to want to set up the um, wired 
IP4. Let's see. on the IP4, um, set it to these things, uh, yours might be 10.1, ours is 1.1, if it's 10.1 you're going to want 10 dot something, I chose 99, so on this side, uh, HTTPD, We're going to go to 192.168.1.1. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to select the firmware.bin update. And right down here it should say uploading. Uploads really quick. And come back here. Right now it is, um, let's see, so when I clicked upload, it uploaded, upload is done, upgrading, it's erasing, so ours went to 240 something, so it's erasing, whatever, this is really convenient, because otherwise you would, you'd have to know this command, but the um, HTTP, HTTPD, I guess, does it, sets it up automatically. If you're going to upgrade through the terminal, I think you would need to know something like this command. I have no idea how to figure this out. Um, so it is nice that it does it automatically. So once it's done erasing, should be pretty soon. Erase two and thirty sectors. Sectors. Oh, my laptop died. Hopefully that isn't a problem. There we go. Um, upgrade is done. Rebooting. And that should be it. Um, you should be able to log into your router now. After unplugging the power and unplugging the serial cable, you should now be able to do a normal boot. Anyways, so... I'll unplug it. Didn't like that. Yeah, then we have to unplug the power serial cable. I'm just curious. Oh, I can't show them in the laptop. Anyways, so that's all you should need to do, really. You have successfully recovered your Comcast router.